Good day. I'm Clive and welcome. What we're looking at today is another one from Alton Goods Australian Company and it's their ultralight ground sheet. Now the reason I got this is I've been using this Special Forces bivy bag which is super lightweight really 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 good I really like it. The one downfall for using it in the summer is the zip only goes halfway so from head down to halfway it's open from there it's closed and I'm closed in and the only reason I've been using that in the summer is to protect the sleep mat because I use a inflatable one now a bit of cowboy camping they call it or whatever so this is to protect my sleep mat so I don't have to use the bivy bag and it gives me more options to regulate my temperature. So if I'm too warm, I can still kick my legs out. I can undo the sleeping bag or I could throw the blanket off whatever I'm using. Where in the bivy, it'd be preventing me. Now as the temperature cools down a bit in the next say five or six months, then the bivy bag is gonna be fantastic and it's ideal for that. Now, quickly go over the specs of it all. Uh, ultralight and compact, a tough ripstop nylon construction, waterproof and puncture resistant, dual coated with 3000 millimeter silicon and PU, uh, reinforced attachment loops. The size is 210 centimeters by 90 centimeters. The ground sheet comes in at 112 grams. The whole package, that's a, gr a ground sheet, the bag, stuff sack, little stuff sack thing, and the pegs weigh in at 182 grams. The pack size is 23 centimeters, six by six centimeters. And what we got, uh, four ultralight 7001 aluminium pegs. And it says here, a drawstring carry bag, which is what it's all in. So what we'll do now, we're going to find a little patch that's over the back here, out of the wind, and we'll have a quick look over it. Now the pack I'm using is an old one from Berghaus, a free flow uh, ventilating uh, rack system, and it's a 20 litre. But this is just to let you realise the size of how small this really is. And like I said, this is only a small 20 litre pack. So it's not going to take up much space in your pack. You carry it in the side pocket there. Or it'll even fit in the pocket on your pants. <laughs> Let's put that over there. So let's open up and have a look what's in it. Okay, it's all rolled up. Pegs first. They come in their own little pack. Drawstring. Same material where it fills it as the ground sheet. They're fairly big. That's up there about six inches. <laughs> you can see we've got three points here. Where it'll catch your guy line if you're going to attach a guy line to it. Feel fairly light. It's got their own logo on it. Logo on it. Um, so about two two point five mil power cord to help you pull them out the ground. And we said there's four of those. So I don't have to gonna go in the ground here because this is fairly hard ground. Quality wise, the material feels good. Stitch in, I'd say some loose ends here, they haven't finished it off properly. But they need cutting and melting back. Might have to put a couple of stitches in there, so that's not not very good, is it? 
again on the attachment point. Very messy finishing on it. A small bit of webbing there. So a quick look around the whole thing. There's that, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera, but that's all. Yeah, they need better quality control. I think I'll just give that a cut back, mount it back with a lighter, and if need be, I'll just get the sewing machine out and run that over. What that actually looks like is when they were originally doing it, they ran out of thread. So what they did, they got the sewing machine and just went back over it again and then put it out, which is not a good way of doing it. And it's right close to the edge, scrunching the actual material up, which I really wanted this to be good. Uh, but yeah, check this one as well. Yeah, not finished off very tidy, all loose ends flapping around. Yeah, loose ends on this one. Again, there, uh, stitching's been pinched. Loose ends. Uh, is it going to stop me using it? No, the, the actual material of it feels good, feels strong. That, that looks all good. Get that so we get it all in the camera, shall we? Now, I bought this myself out with my money. I weren't giving it. So, which I think with all the loose bits makes it worse because I actually paid for it. If it'd been sent out to me for free to have a look at and review, I wouldn't be so upset, but I'd still be honest with you about it. Yeah, the pegs are going in a couple of inches, so that's okay for showing this apart from the bad stitching and the low quality control which is part of the bad stitching all in all it's a nice uh, bit of equipment it's big enough to have a large sleep mat on width wise uh, length wise I'd reckon it is because it's over two meters in length isn't it one I think this is about 2.1 was it 210 so it's going to protect up hill. We've got leaves and very small sticks and see look. But ants are between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch in size there. But no, it feels pretty good. It, even a small stick there, the end of it, you can feel it, but it doesn't seem to be pushing through the material. I think if I gave it some force it would. But we're laying on it at night. I think it'll be okay. There's one of those ants I was on about. Get off. Now, without my boots on, I'm about five foot six. When I say about, sometimes when I measure that on one, it says I'm five foot five and three quarters. When I get measured at somewhere else, I'm five foot six and three quarters. And I get measured somewhere else, I'm five foot, uh, six foot and a, or 
five foot six and a quarter. But I've got my boots on, which is going to add about another two inches. So, but we got plenty of space up there. So if you're a taller guy, it's going to be okay. I can move around on here, and I've, <laughs> and I've got plenty of space uh, beside me. Now, I, b I bought this yes, like I said, so I can use it instead of using the Special Forces bivvy. But there's another reason I actually bought this, because I bought something else from Alton Goods, which I was hoping to use, or a couple of things which this will be good with. This is, I've got their uh, their tarp, their 3x3 three three tarp and the idea was to have the tarp and have this underneath try and keep me and my gear clean <laughs> against, get up. and I also bought two other items which work as a, a pair, a, a, as one they do, the two things and I'll be showing that in the next week or two make it dinner view, have a look now all the gear I've got from Alton Goods, I bought it all last year, uh, I think it was some money for my birthday or it's something along them lines, oh no I sold some gear I did, so I used that money to buy uh, the Alton Goods gear. So yeah keep your eyes open, so I've got, how many I've got, I've got one, two, three, I think another three or four pieces of Alton Goods gear to have a look at, but I haven't taken any of it out of the bag until I've brought it out and to do the review or the first look at it, the quality and size and if it works. So, for what I bought this for, even though it's got all the tatty stitching and poor finishing, I'll sort that out when I get home and the flux it up after I'll get the sewing machine out and I'll run some more stitching where on one side, it's like even over here they're right on the edge so normally that should be a couple of millimeters in at least and when it's right on the edge it's just given a weak point where that, that could wear and go quite easy at that point but it's, it'll do for what I want it for price wise they're not the cheapest but they're also not the most expensive but yeah but I think you need to know the truth about the, the quality of their gear so I'm just hoping the rest of the gear I've got is up to spec uh, I'll put a link where I'll be here or here wherever it is at the end of the video just click on the box and it'll take you to the other videos I've got for Alton Goods uh, I've got a couple of other boxes there for you to go and click the link and everything else for the like and the thumbs up and subscribe, do all that stuff. Yep, not much more to say about this. I'll still be able to use it, but again, their stitching has let them down. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and then select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and hit the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.